How's it going? This is BuzzM1. We're continuing on with this playthrough. This is Chapter 10, The Customs House. This is on normal difficulty, and of course, this is uh, Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune. So we're just going to press forward here into the Customs House and investigate these old, uh, what are these things called? Manifolds? Manifests. Manifests. There you go. Manifests. Still seem to be in good shape. Hey, check this out. This looks right. The Esperanza sailed from Cayo, Peru, carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? Right here. Gold statue. Weight, 20 arrobas. That's over 500 pounds. That's gotta be it. Wow. There you are. That thing kind of gives me the creeps. Huh. That's the last entry. That somebody special? What? Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess you could say that. Huh. I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. No, this was, uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. Sick Parvis Magna? I kind of stole Greatest it. from small beginnings. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates. Right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this is as close as we're getting to El Dorado. <laughs> that picture's so ugly, it's funny. El Dorado. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to have some people. Let's see. Some people to shoot up here. Here he is. There's our friend right there. Hello. Bang. <laughs> All right, this is a little funny area because it's so um, kind of trapped, or it's so close up here. My my trick with this is just is don't take cover. There's a dude up here, I think. Don't take cover here. Instead, what you want to do is just pop out like this. There's a dude up here, isn't there? Yeah, there he is. They're kind of coming from all sides here. That guy's gonna come back. Come on out. All right, try not to waste all my ammo here. All right, so don't snap. Just just stay nice and loose here. Stay out of snap so you can move back and forth. There's a dude. Let's see. Dude up here, I believe. It's probably a rocket man over here too somewhere. Okay. Who's shooting me on the side here? There's somebody up here. Probably there is. Let's see. All right, there's probably a rocket man over here somewhere. I'm guessing there he is. I can see him nice because he can't really see me but I can see him there he goes and there's another dude right there the camera oh that's Elena sorry <laughs> sorry Elena yeah the camera movement is so slow on this but that's all you got to do um, if you snap to cover it just complicates things so my advice is don't do that on this part Let's see if I can pick up any stuff that they're leaving behind um, you can go up those stairs I'm not sure if there's any treasure or something up there I guess we can go check real quick just to see if there's any ammo for us I don't want that micro. See, I used to be into the micro, but now not so much. I'm now more of the pistol. Uh, and there's a shotgun. Okay. Oh, there's a guy right here. Okay, there he is. He's just like shooting from the hip. He doesn't know what he's doing. Alrighty, we can get his gun too, because he was going to attack us from this staircase. But whatever. Okay, let's open up this door. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that's like a technique in this game where you don't actually. Uh, I don't want that. You don't actually snap to cover. You just like, you know, kind of position yourself uh, oh. behind cover without snapping to it. See any boat, Nate. Looks that works like well in this chance. section here. No, there it is, on the other side of the harbor. Come on. Hey, you know what? Why don't I just wait here and you can uh, swing around and come back and pick me up? <laughs> okay. What are you up to? Nothing. I just want to, you know, stay here and get some more footage. I'll be safe. 
All right, fine. But promise me you'll stay put. Whatever that means. Okay, so Atlanta just gonna she's gonna stay behind. All right, this section here is kind of funny because it's a couple of doors you got to push over, or you got to shoot the locks first. And now we're gonna have like a QTE thing here. Let's see. Here he goes. He's gonna fall down. And we gotta mash the X basically here. I'm not sure how it works because you don't have to mash it, and it, it keeps the prompt up like as he's climbing this thing. I just mash it because I don't want to fall off. I don't know what happens if you don't mash it here. And anyway, then these guys are gonna start shooting you. But you don't really have to attack him. I just run across it like this. Keep running, keep running. There's going to be a grenade dude in there somewhere. There he is. And then once you get to here, you're just in cover. Shoot this lock here. And that's kind of all you have to do here. Just go through like so. And now we can access this. And that's kind of the end of the chapter. You know, I mean, you can fight those guys if you want. But I'm just like, eh. Here's the chapter break right here. Uh, so we're going to pick this up in the next video, Chapter 11, Trapped. And this is going to be a big fight. So something to look forward to next time after this short one. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. My name is Buzzin1. Thank you so much for watching.